morning, guys. This is our um, 15th of July, our Math Standard 5 lesson. And I've started the lesson by giving you a quiz on fractions, converting mixed numbers to improper fraction. Okay, so this number, 2, 2 over 3. 2, 2 over 3. How do you do this? There's two methods. One is the long method, one is the shortcut method. The long method is to understand that this 2 means 3 over 3, that's 1, plus 3 over 3, that's another 1, plus 2 over 3. Got it? So that's how you get your 2. This is your 1, this is your 1, this is how you get your 2, 2 over 3. So you only add the numerators, 3 plus 3 plus 2, and that gives you... 8 over 3. Now, the shortcut method or the shorter way of doing it would be to multiply at the bottom and add on top. So, 3 times 2, 6. 6 plus 2, 8. So, your answer would be 8 over 3. The same answer that you got using the long method. Got it? So, complete these questions. So, 2, 2 over 3 would be 8 over 3. 1, 3 over 4 means there is already a 4 over 4 plus another 3 over 4. That gives you 7 over 4. 1, 1 over 5 means there's a 5 over 5 plus 1 over 5. That gives you 6 over 5. 2, 3 over 5 means 5 times 2, 10. 10 plus 3, 13. 13 over 5. 3, plus, three times 2, if you want to... See, this is written as like a straight number. The correct way would be 2, 1 over 3. So what you're going to do is take 3 times with 2. Okay, it gets you 6. 6 plus with 1. That gives you 7 over 3. And then this one, 9 over 4. Okay? So this is how you get and complete this first quiz on converting, what is this? Mixed numbers to improper fractions. Okay, done. Then you'll go on to the second quiz. Okay, try the second quiz. <clears throat> now the second quiz is fraction of a quantity. Now if you look at it carefully, this one reads as half of 24. Hey, you're not showing the screen. Oh, not showing the screen. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, so, so just about to ask you. Okay, can you see it now? Half of 24? Yeah. All right. Okay, guys. How do you do this? Half of translates to times 24. Literally, this is 24 divided by 2. Always half means you have got to divide that answer with 2. The quantity with 2. So what is half of 24? 24 divided by 2. That's 12. What is half of 12? Take 12 divided by 2. There you go. 6. Do you have any more halves? Yeah. Half of 10. 10 ringgit. You have 10 ringgit. Half of 10 ringgit is how much? 5 bucks. Do you understand? Now when it comes to 1 third, literally you're taking the quantity and you're dividing it with 3. That's what 1 third means. Okay, one third, if I draw a bar, I divide into three parts. This is one third. So you see, you have got to take that six and divide into three. So every part will be two, two, and two. Got it? So one third of six is two. Another, any other one third? One third of 10. Oh, sorry, one third of 30, which means take your 30 and divide into three parts. That gives you 10. What about one third of 24? Take your 24, divide into three parts. One part will be eight. Okay? Same goes for one third of 12. Take your 12, divide into three parts. Every part will be four, four, four. What about one fourth? Same idea. Divide by four. Fraction is a division. So one over four means one divided into four parts. If I have one whole bar, I divide it into four parts. Now, if the total here is 12, it's 12. So 12 divided by 4, every part would get me 3. 
literally one fourth of 12. You can write it like that. It's one fourth times 12. And that gives you 12 divided by four, answer three. Okay, every part is worth three. I hope you're understanding uh, what I'm, I hope you understand what I'm explaining, okay? One quarter of 36. That means take 36, divide into four parts. Every part will be nine, 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 nine. One quarter or one fourth of 28 means take 28, divide into four, and you get seven on each part. And that's how you do the second quiz, okay? <clears throat> so guys, <clears throat> later um, we will check What's your score? I think maybe we can check it now itself, okay? So for those who have done it, please do it and then your score will come out on my side, okay? How come nobody has done, no, four people have done fraction zero three, okay. All right, so this is your score, well done. Oh, teacher also came in. All right, Aloysius, Prashman, Gideon and me, okay? Of course, I took the longest here. That doesn't matter. I was explaining. Okay. So well done on that. And then for the other quiz, which is um, three of you all have done fraction zero four. Oh, Aloysius and Gideon only two of you all have done. Okay. So good job. You've got 10 over 10. Well done. And I hope the rest will do this quiz. Huh? Okay. Yes. Anything so far? Any questions so far? <clears throat> None. Yeah, you did it? I don't know why, Famida, your name doesn't come out. Oh, my God. Is it? I think that must be some settings problem. You'll have to check. Are you doing it from an iPad? I don't know whether it doesn't want to recognize iPad. Maybe it's discriminating iPad. <laughs> I don't know about <laughs> that. <laughs> but anyway, guys, okay? So let's, it's okay, Famida. Keep, tell me your score in the chat, okay? All right, in the WhatsApp chat, okay? All right, so, or maybe it might take some time. That's all. So, guys, let's move on with our uh, lesson for today. We are still in fractions, decimals, and percentages. Okay, so look here. <clears throat> uh, excuse me, what teacher. You... Sorry, I couldn't, do, I couldn't do the quiz, teacher, because I just joined. No problem. The quiz is already given in the WhatsApp, so you can do it later. If you okay. want to know how to do it, then you got to watch the recording from the beginning. Okay, so the beginning part, okay. I've explained how to do the quiz. And then you can do it later. In fact, so many students are not able to come in today because of various competitions. Am I talking too fast? Okay, so now our lesson, we're going to, going to, uh, we're going to focus on reading and writing decimals as fractions. Okay, decimals, fractions, percentages. They're all very interrelated. Okay, so you will need to really... Be confident and know what exactly you are doing. So look here, the word tens. Does it ring a bell to you guys? The word tens. Yes. What do you understand? Okay, put it in chat. What do you understand? Okay, Aloysius can even say it. What do you understand by the word tens? Tens means what? Is it the same as tens? Is so it is the it same after, after the pot after the dot? Decimals? Yeah, correct. It's the place value less than one. Very it's a perfect answer there from Aloysius. Thank you. You see, your place value chart, remember, your place value chart has got ones, okay, has got tens, which is like 20, 30, and 40, and so on. But then it also has the decimal point and the house after that. On the right, which means this house where you're going to further divide into 10 parts. Okay? You remember as you go on the right of your place value chart, you are dividing every number with 10. For example, 20. 20 divided by 10, you will get 2. Correct or not? 2 divided by 10, you would get 2 over 10. Are you following me? Okay. For example, 50. 50, if I divide by 10, I'm going to move. The, des the number literally moves its place value to the 1's house. Okay. 50 divided by 10, answer it's 5. 
5 divided by 10 further, you are going to get 5 over 10. Are you following me? So this is the tens house here after the ones house where it's divided into 10 parts. And this is a fraction of 10 parts. A fraction on, of 10 parts is the same as a decimal of 0 0.2 here, of 0 0.5 here. Okay, refresh already your memory a bit. Okay, done? Good. Now, question says, draw a number line from 0 to 1. So, I'm going to draw it here. Okay, you guys just follow and have a look. A number line, note the point. It starts at 0. It ends at 1. That means it's just 1, you know. 1 chocolate, 1 book, 1 box of anything. And mark, divide the line into 10 equal parts. So, here you go. 1, okay, I'll divide into 5 first like this. Then the 5 is divided into 4 parts. Okay, sorry. Maybe here, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. There you go, 10 parts. So just now I told you, right, from the 1's house, I divided into 10 parts. I'll get the 10's house, correct? So this is where your divide into 10 parts is. Mark all the 10's as decimal. This is 1 over 10, which is the same as 0 0.1. Okay, this is 2 over 10, which is the same as 0 0.2. Are you following? Are you following me? Okay, so can you understand this chart? If you can understand this simple place value chart, give me a thumbs up in the chat. Okay, can understand or not this chart? Okay, good. So guys, now let's move on. Okay. Let's move on. I've got three presentations for you guys today. Okay, it's all right. We'll skip this part. Now, look here. Look at this chart. All of you, this is now a, it's no more the tens house, but it's the next house where you divide into 100 parts. I think you already know the story, isn't it, of the boy with the cake. Okay, so now it's the next house, which we will call which we call the hundreds, H-U-N-D-R-E-D-T-H-S. That means one whole cake or whatever is divided into hundred parts. That's what you see here on the left and on the right. Now, I want you to tell me what is the fraction, calculate, of the orange squares. What's the fraction? All of you, calculate and put in chat. Put your, uh, put your answers in chat. What's the fraction here, guys? Which means count. Count the number of orange squares. And tell me in chat. What's the fraction? Fraction. How many in range? What's your answer? 30. Aloysius says 30. How about the rest? Did you get 30? All of you? 15, Count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then it's 10, 15, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. That's right. 30. So the fraction will be 30 over 100. Got it? Okay. So this is fraction. What if it's a decimal? How do I write it as a decimal? That 30 over 100, how do I write it as a decimal? Put your answers in chat. Hmm, how does that look like? Sahana, you gave me... Check your answers, guys. Check your answers. Please check. So 30 over 100 is correct. As a fraction. Now I want to see your answers as a decimal. Okay, I see your answers. And I know where we are wrong and where we are right. Apparently, no one has got the right answer yet. Guys, 30 over 100 means, cut a zero here, cut a zero there, up and down. It's 3 over 10, which is the same as zero. Point three, 
not 0 0.03. 0 0.03 means 3 over 100. This is, these are all the little, smallest, minute things in fractions, decimals, percentage that you must be really sure of. Okay, if you're not sure of this, or actually this is your so very basics here. Okay, got it? Okay, noted, noted. Noted if it's a typo error. Okay, Sahana, Prashman, do you understand what we are doing? Okay, do you see 30 over 100 can simplify to become 3 over 10? It's the same as 3 over 10, which is 0 0.3. Now, even if I take 30 and I move the decimal two places, it will reach here, correct or not? So you should have given me 0 0.3, even you put a zero there, so it doesn't matter. But it's still 0 .0, 0 0.30, not 0 0.03. It makes a whole lot of a difference. Got it? Now all of you, okay, coming back to our fractions, decimals, Percentage, okay, three things here. Fraction was 30 over 100. Decimal was 0 0.3. Tell me, what is the percentage of these orange blocks? What's the percentage, guys? Very good, 30%. That part, you got it right. Well done. Okay, do you understand? All you need to do to find percentage is times 100%. And then you move back the decimals. This becomes 30%. Got it? Okay, now do the same for the blue. For the blue blocks. I want all. I want to see all the answers of the boys and girls here in class. How many of you all here? Six. So I want to see six answers. Okay, Prishman, Sachin, Aloysius, Pamida, Sahana, and who do we have else? <clears throat> Who's that silent person? Vidyan. Okay. All right, all of you, put in your answers in chat. Okay, for the fraction of the blue squares. <clears throat> okay, fraction of blue squares an hour. Okay. So I'm going to write it on the right here. All of you, Aloysius has given me, Sachin has given me, Sahana has given me answer. Three more answers. Very good, guys. 35 over 100. Okay? Go on. Go on now to tell me what is the decimal for this blue squares. 35 over 100, guys. What's the decimal? Very good, all of you so far. Very good, Sahana. Very good, Famida. Okay, great. getting me the answers now. Very good, Prishman. 0 0.35. Well, well done. What about the percentage, guys? What's the percentage of the blue squares? Thirty-five percent. Fantastic. Understood. Okay. Uh, Prishman, the percentage symbol is when you press shift and five. If you look at it in your computer, okay? If you really need that. It's already there. It's on digit five. Laptop, yes, yes. You press the shift button and you press five and the percentage symbol will come out, okay? All right. Now, good job. Now, all of you, go on to the green. Calculate what's the fraction. Tell me what's the fraction of the green squares. Calculate the green, guys, the green squares, the one on the right here. What's the fraction? Can see, right? Can. Okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 16, 24, 32, 40, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58. Good job. 58 over 100. And then now to decimals. Good job with the fraction. Now to decimals. 
It's okay, it's okay. But be careful, don't do careless mistakes in exam. 0 0.58, good job. That's your decimal, okay? And the last part would be stating it as fractions. Good job, 58%. Okay, now notice this. Uh, I want you to tell me. Uh, just now, your answer here, your answer for the orange, your answer for the blue, your answer now for the green. Are these all... Answer me, uh, are they proper fraction or improper fraction? Your three proper. answers. Proper. Were they proper? Yes, proper. they were all proper fractions. What is proper fraction? Fraction which is less than? Less than one. 100. No, less than one. Oh. Okay, less than one. As a fraction, they are all less than one. As a decimal, they are also less than one. As a percentage, they are less than 100. That's where your 100 comes. Do you oh. understand? Okay, yeah. only when you mention it as a percentage, it's less than 100%. As a decimal, it's less than 1. As a fraction, it's less than 1. Can you see these pictures here? So remember, okay, when you talk about fractions or decimals or percentage, it can be... As a proper, it can be as an improper fraction. So, question is, if 4 over 5, you tell me, is this proper or improper? Proper. Proper fraction, correct? All of you now, tell me what's the decimal for 4 over 5. Okay? Put in check. What's the decimal? Every fraction can be written as a decimal. What is the decimal for 4 over 5? Ah, stuck already. Yeah. Wrong, Sahana. It's not that. It's never going to be that. You see, huh? I said it's a proper fraction and you give me 4.5. Isn't 4.5 right? a big number? Gideon also. Yeah, Famida, you are correct. How can you give me 4.5 or even whatever else this is more than one dudes correct or not 4.5 4 ringgit 50 cents is more than one ringgit and i'm talking here about a proper fraction which is less than one just now only we said proper fraction is less than one freshman said 0 0.45 absolutely wrong again why because you forgot that fraction is a division what did i say less than one Fraction is a division. So take 4 and divide by 5, dudes. What do you get? 0, 0, minus 4. Put in your decimal. Put in the 0. Bring down the 0. 40 divided by 5, 8. And that's your answer. Are you following me now? Correct. Yes, Aloysius, you are correct. Famida is correct. Only two of you got it right. Darlings, you have got to think. You've got to remember fraction is division. Always divide to get your decimal. Do you understand? 4 over 5 is not, not, never in the century of or history of maths is not 4.5, which is a very common mistake that a lot of students do. 4 over 5 is less than 1, guys. 4 over 5 is 8 over 10. Do you know that? How did this become this? Times 2. Times 2. So 8 over 10. Isn't 8 over 10 0 0.8? Correct or not? Remember, you got to change it to a fraction of 10 parts. Then it can easily convert to a decimal. But if it's not a fraction of 10 parts, you can do a division. Are you guys following me? Do you understand what I've just said? Okay, no worries. No need to ask sorry all. Okay, you are learning here. You are here to learn. So again, 4 over 5, fraction, 0 0.8 is the decimal. Got it? Tell me what's the percentage. This one should be easy. The same number here. What's the percentage? Times 100%. What do you get? No, times 100%, move the decimal two places. What do we get, Sahana? 
All of you, come on, be a bit fast. Put in your answers. 80%. <gasps> I think it's all typo error. Am I right, Sana? I hope so. Good. Guys, do you understand what's happening? This is less than one. This is less than one. This is less than 100%. Following me? Okay. All right. Now, on to the right-hand side. We're going to do another kind of fraction. This is 4 over 5, and you guys told me this is proper fraction. True. Now, what if the fraction is now 5 over 4? 5 over 4 is improper an improper fra fraction. Improper. Good. Tell me now what's the decimal. And don't do the same mistake of just saying 5.4 or whatever. Do the division. Do the division. Okay, do the division and tell me what's the decimal. Very good, Aloysius. Came in already the answer. How about the rest? Take five, divide by four. Okay, do that. Take five and divide by four. What happens? No, we can get one, Brishman. One is a whole number. I told you this is an improper fraction, which is more than one. So you cannot give me 1.0. 1 1.0 1 .0 is a whole number. It's one. Uh, Famida, change that to a decimal. You gave me one, one over four. That's a mixed number, darling. Okay. From improper fraction, this is changing to a mixed number. I want in decimal. <clears throat> Take 5 and divide by 4. That's what you got to do. 5 over 4 means 5 divided by 4. That's right. Famida, you got your answer now. What about Sahana, Prishman, Gideon? Gideon, you are still here. How can you give me 0 0.8, darling? 4 over 5 and 5 over 4 are two different things. Open your eyes. This is 4 over 5. Here, 5 over 4. Proper fraction, improper fraction. All you need to do is take 5 and divide by 4. And you're going to get the answer ready. <clears throat> Try. Come on. I only see two of y'all have given me Sachin, Sahana, Prashman and Gideon. Are you lost? Do you need help? If you need help, say yes. Put a smiley, put a crying face. Then only I'll know. Put a crying, crying face. Then only you know, oh, Sahana put crying face. Oh, Sachin is so crying. Oh, Samuhu. Who's crying? Samu, faster, faster. Show huh? me your crying face. I'll see your crying face. Jidian smiling means you should know. Or oh, crying. Is that crying? Wrong, 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 wrong. I don't know crying, which is. Ah. Oh, you don't know which is crying yeah. face. Go to the emojis. Okay? Yeah, to... Guys, listen carefully. Okay, 5 over 4. You guys know what is proper improper, right? 4 over 5, yeah. you know. Proper fraction. 5 over 4 is improper. Correct or not? And you know this is 1, 1 over 4. That one also you know already. But how is the decimal looking like, guys? I told you to just take 5 and divide by 4. Are you looking at my maths here? So I'll get you 1. I'll get you 4. What is 5 minus 4? 1. Again, put in your decimal point now. Put in the 0. Bring down the 0. This will give you 2. And this will give you 8. 10 minus 2. Uh, sorry, 10 minus 8 will be 2. Put another 0. Bring down the 0. This would be 5. There you go. 1.25 is your decimal. Do you understand now? Yeah. Fraction is a division. Every time you go to sleep also, you keep on telling the same thing. Fraction is a division. Fraction is a division. And you do my module after this. Okay? There's going to be more than 100 questions there. Every time I give you also module, you got more than 100 questions. Okay? Guys, do you understand now how you got the decimal? 1.25? Okay? Clear now. So this is 5 over 4. The decimal is 1.25. The percentage is 125 percent are you following me yeah on the other hand earlier four over five the decimal is 0 0.8 and the percentage was 80 percent 
4 over 5 is less than 1 whole. 5 over 4 is more than 1 whole. 0 0.8 is less than 1. 1.25 is more than 1. 80% is less than 100% and 125% is more than 100%. Do you understand all these stories now? <gasps> Richmond, why did you scam? Why did you spam my chat? No, like that. Accident, is it? Okay. All right. Do you understand? Can I have a thumbs up if you understand this part now? Okay. All right. Got it? This is a super duper important understanding of fractions, decimals, percentages of less than one and more than one. Okay. If it's one, if it's one, that means it's one over one which means one whole. Do you understand? As a decimal, 1.0 is the same as one. As a percentage, 100% is the same as one. Got it? That is right in the middle. One over one, 1.0, 100%. That's all one. Less than one, over here. More than one, over here. Got it? Now let's clear this and let's move on. That's it for this PowerPoint. Next PowerPoint. Are you ready, guys, for the next part of the lesson? Yes. Yeah. All right. Now we want to convert. We want to do more conversions. Okay. Can you see the screen on your side? Nampa? Can I? So converting fractions to decimals. Get ready to put in your answers in the chat. Okay. To convert a fraction to a decimal, I just say divide, that's all. Convert half to a decimal, all of you put in chat. What do I get when half converts to become a decimal? After me teaching you so much already, eh? let's see whether you can get the correct answer. Don't you go and write 0 0.12 or 1.2 or 0 0.012, okay? Give me the correct answer. What is half as a decimal? Aloysius, okay, correct. The rest? Quickly, this is like a spot question that you must give me like tuck within a second. Okay? What is half as a decimal, dudes? Quick. Half change to a decimal. One over two to a decimal. Very good, Gideon. Good job. Aloysius, good job. Put in direct message also, Ken. Very good, Famida. Three of you all have given me correct answer. Waiting for Prashman, Sachin and who else? Huh? Sahana. Mm. <gasps> Sahana. Do the division, Sahana. Half. How can you get more than one? Your answer is more than one. Can you see that? I want only half. Did you do the division? You're supposed to do the division. Did you do it? Yes, Sachin, correct, already. Who else? Gideon, correct. Aloysius, correct. Famida, correct. Sachin, correct. Prishman, Prishman, are you still crying? Look, first you divide the numerator by the denominator. One divide by two. This is a normal division. 1 divided by 2. Put in the 0. Put in the decimal. Now you get 10. 10 divided by 2, it's 5. 0 0.5. That's your answer. Why 1 divided by 12? Are you blind? Uh? Hello? It's 1 divided by 2, darling. Not 12. Typo, typo. Okay. One, yeah, 1 over 2. I want as decimal. You look here, there is a whole difference. This is fraction. This is decimal. Okay, now? Can you see? Don't give me the same answer here. 1 over 2. You're giving me this. No, I want this. Do you understand now? Okay, another way of doing this. Okay, pay attention. Another way of getting your answer. Look here, guys. 1 over 2. 
I told you that decimal is a fraction of 10 parts. So make this over 10. How did the 2 become 10? Times 5. Correct or not? So what you do at the bottom, you also do at the top. You times 5. That gives you 5 over 10. That you can easily say 0 0.5. Put a thumbs up if you understood this now. It's okay. You are here. I hope uh, after this, I don't have to repeat this lesson. Uh, okay. All right. 1 over 2, it's 0 0.5. Simple. Actually, it's a very simple fraction. Okay. Prashman, can you understand or not? Are you following? Durgesh all gone for badminton. <laughs> Today, so many of them are not here. Later, they will watch the recording. Okay? So, clear now. Eh? Let's go to the next question. Okay? For all of you, be ready. Get ready now. How about 2 over 5? Convert it to a decimal. All of you, try. You can use the division method or you can use the other method that I taught you as well. Change it to a denominator of 10 parts. Wrong, Aloysius. Aloysius, 2 over 5 is less than 1. How can you give me 2.5? Guys, don't you make that mistake again. Don't, just because you see 2 and a 5, it doesn't mean 2.5. Sachin also wrong. Oh yeah, okay. Your funny, funny answers are all wrong. Let me tell you, 2.5, absolutely wrong. 0 0.25, lagi wrong. Prashman, 0 0.2, also wrong. Yes, correct. Now got it right. Gideon, correct. You've got it right. I'm not going to tell the answer. You guys tell me the answer. I've given you all the wrong answers here. If you say 2.5, wrong. 0 0.25, wrong. After all these, huh? hello? Can you all do a division or not? That's my question now. I want to go back to standard one, huh? 2 divide by 5. Do this. 2 divide by 5. Can 2 divide by 5? Cannot. Put in the 0. Put in the decimal point. Put in the 0. Now, 20 divide by 5. What's the answer? 4. And then, put in the 20. You got no remainder anymore. This is called standard written method. Oh, excuse me. You all forget already yeah, your basics. So, this is 0 0.4. That's the correct answer. Another way of doing this, okay, look carefully. Take 2 over 5 and change it to a decimal, uh, a denominator of 10 parts. Because that division, sorry, decimal, what did you learn about decimal? It's a fraction of 10 parts. It's a fraction of 100 parts. It's a fraction of 1,000 parts. Yes or not? And more. So if I can change it to a fraction of 10 parts, I can get the decimal straight away. So how did 5 become 10? Times 2. What you do at the bottom, you also do on top. 2 times 2, 4. 4 over 10, 0 0.4. Guys, are you following me? Oh, okay. Don't go and do the other way. 2 over 5 means 2 divided by 5, not 5 divided by 2. If you take 5 divided by 2, then you'll get 2.5. Okay, 5 divided by 2 looks like this, 5 over 2. Do you understand, Aloysius? Okay, clear. I hope you guys understand. If not, watch this video 100 times. Okay, so you can use the bus stop method. They call it the bus stop here, but we can call it standard written method. So this is where you get 2 over 5 as a decimal is 0 0.4. Now, you remember or not? I hope you remember. 2 over 5 means take 2. It's like a fraction, a bar, divide into 5 parts. Okay? This, this is 2 over 5. Got it? Okay, this is 2 over 5. Can you see the picture? Stop. I, I hope you're not annotating on the screen. Eh? 2 over 5. This is 2 over 5. If I had 
Just now, remember, I divide everything into 10 parts. So, this is 2 over 10. This is 4 over 10. Remember, as a, as a fraction, 4 over 10. And that's the same as 0 0.4. If I were to draw the picture, drawing is also now basic already. Okay? But if you still don't understand, you can use the help of the drawing. Okay. Clear now. Next question. One more. Please do this correctly. 3 over 4. Change it to a decimal. Put in chat your answer. Very good, Aloysius. Correct answer. 3 over 4. Change it to a decimal. How about the rest? Quickly, guys. Don't you tell me 0 0.34. Don't you tell 3.4. Don't you give me any answers like 0 0.034 or something like that. No, no, wrong, wrong, wrong. All this will be wrong, eh? Tell you now itself. Okay, Gideon, correct. Good job. Two of you all give me the correct answer. 3 over 4. You can use two ways of doing this. Number one, you just do the division. Okay, do the division. 3 divide by 4. 3 divide by 4. Okay, now do it like this. Uh, Prashman, I think you missed out a digit. Check your answer again. How did you get that answer, Prashman? Did you just take 3 plus 4 and get that? No, and then? It's still not complete. Did you do 3 divide by 4? Sahana, correct. Yes. I told you, right? You must do the 3 divide by 4. You must do division. Sachin, what's your answer? Gideon, correct. Aloysius, correct. Sahana, correct. Famida, correct. Prishman, correct. Very good. Sachin, where's your answer? What is 3 over 4? Quickly. All right. Now, guys, I'm going to teach you the other method of making the denominator into 10 parts or 100 parts or 1,000 parts. How does 4, to make 4 become 10, it's kind of difficult uh, because 10 is not in times table 4. Do you understand? In times table 4, you have 4, 8, 12. Correct or not? 10 doesn't come in there. But you can use 100. 100 is in times table 4. It's just that you don't know. What is 100 divided by 4? All of you now, put in chat. What is 100 divided by 4? You got 100 ringgit, you want to divide to 4 people. One person will get how much? Wait, 100 divided by 4, Prishman, not 100 times 4. Okay, listen carefully. It's going to be 25. Yes or not? So 4 times 25, I'm going to get 100. Do you understand now? So what I do at the bottom, I also do on top. So what is 3 times 25? So 4 times 25 is 100. What is 3 times 25? 75. Good job. Now you can... Why am I 5 so crazy? Hold on. 5. So now tell me the decimal straight away. 0. 7, 5. See, there's two methods for you to do it. Either you do the division, the long division. Do you understand? Or you change the fraction to a fraction of either 10 parts or 100 parts or 1,000 parts. And when you do that, you can straight away change it to a decimal. Do you arigato? Understand or not? Huh? <laughs> I don't even understand. Oh, then what is it? Moshi Moshi. Thank you. Huh? What is Moshi Moshi in Japanese? Yeah. Aloysius, <laughs> Japan. I thought you learned Japanese. No, I'm confused. Okay, tell me what is it. Aloysius, no Japanese.
this zero must be 10, one zero. Now, three plus seven, 10. 10 plus two, 12. 12 plus one, 13. So three carry up one. And over here, six plus four plus one, that's 11. 11 plus what gives me, it should be 14, lah, right? Three. So 11 plus what? Three. three. Do you understand now? Do you think you can do this? Hello, guys. Can I have a thumbs up if you understood this part of the questions? Finding a little bit of unknowns, okay? They're not that difficult, okay? It's just like addition, but there's a decimal point in between. Prashman, why the moon face? Okay, let's do last question. 8 plus 2, it's 10. 10 plus 7, it's 17. Got it or not? So you write your 7, carry up your 1. Okay, all of you. Tell me, what should I write here, Prishman? I have five. I have seven. I, I have one. So, it's how much altogether here? Thirteen already. And this is five here. So, it must be a fifteen. So, thirteen plus how much gives you fifteen? Two. Good job. You understand, Prishman? Okay, good. Now, one plus zero plus one and plus something gives me six. So what's it number here? Four. 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 Do you Four. understand? And yeah. finally, over here, it's very easy. Seven Two plus seven. Five is 14. six. And eight is seven. And seven plus seven is fourteen. Fourteen. Do you understand now? Okay. Yeah. So this is how you can complete your module division part one. Okay. Now I'm going to open up part two. Okay, let's open up part two. Hold on, one minute. Fractions, decimal, sorry, decimals part B, eh? One minute, guys. Where's my decimals? Ah, okay. All right, got it. Can you see the screen? Not yet. All right, can you see the screen now? Okay, this is decimals, part B. Okay, what do you have to do? Mental maths a bit, okay, not? Mentally, you have got to take away this amount from each of these questions. So get ready. I'll put in chat. It's just like this. Huh? Look here. 0 0.08 minus 0 0.02. Answer 0 0.06. Literally, I got to imagine taking the 8 minus the 2 and I get the 6. And the rest are all 0. 0 minus 0, 0. 0 minus 0, 0. Got it? Clear. 0 0.16. Minus 0 0.02. It's just like 16 minus 2. And you're getting 14. Can you see that? So now, what if it's 0 0.2 minus 0 0.02? Pay attention. 0 0.2 is 0 0.20. Do you understand? So what is 20 minus 2? What is 20 minus 2? What is it? 18. Yeah. Correct or not? And then you just put in your zero. So it's 0 0.18. Do you understand? I don't want you to do standard return method. I want you to do it in your mind. What about 24 minus 2? Isn't it 22? And then you just put that 0 0.22. Do you understand? What about 32 minus 2? 0 0.32. Ah, but you put that zero there, now your answer reads as 0 0.3. Okay? So it's firecrackers going on at the back. Oh, what, what knows what's happening? Okay, how about 0 0.57 minus 0 0.02? It's like 57 minus 2. So that's going to be like 55. Are you following me? And then you put your 0 0.55. Clear? 
Can you understand this? Can I have a thumbs up? Famida, Gideon, Prashman, Sachin, Aloysia, Sahana. Can or not? So you have got to do this. Huh? Okay, do these questions. Now the second one, minus 0 0.05. So it's like 8 minus 5. You get your 3, but put in all the zeros. 16 minus 5. Okay, just to go around, eh? let's do in chat. Put your answers in chat. Now, get ready. 0 0.16 minus 0 0.05. What's your answer? Quickly, because this is your mental math. It's like 16 minus 5. Then put in. Very good, Aloysius. Come on, the rest. Answers in chat now. Very good, very good. 0 0.11, 0 0.11. Good job. How about 0 0.2 minus 0 0.05? Remember, all inside your mind. It's like 20 minus 5. Yes, Aloysius. Thank you very much. Freshman, we are at number third one already here. 0 0.2 minus 0 0.05. So this one is like 20 minus 5. Very good, Sahana. 0 0.15. Sachin, where's your answer? Okay, third one. 0 0.24 minus 0 0.05. It's like 24 minus 5. What's 24 minus 5, guys? 19. So all you need to put is the 0 0.19. Sachin, you are doing decimals. You think it like a normal number, but answer in decimals. Do you understand? Okay. Okay, let's go to number three now. What about 0 0.32 minus 0 0.03? That means it's like 32 minus 3. What is 32 minus 3? I get a 29, correct or not? But you just put in that 0 there and you have 0 0.29. Do you understand now? 29, Gideon, okay? Yeah. Can do, right? Yeah. What time class ends? What time class ends? 10.30. <gasps> oh my God, it's 10.27 already. Okay, okay, I'm going to do fast now. So page 1 on your module, that's this questions, okay? If you go to page 2, darlings, you're going to multiply by 10, 100, and 1,000. Actually, here got 10 and 100 only. Okay, so you got to do this. And how? Move the decimals. Okay, very simple. Y times 10. You're going to make the number bigger one place. That is why the decimal moves here to the right. And the number now becomes 54.7 from 5.47. Now, I will also encourage you to think in terms of money. You get you have 5 ringgit and 47 cents. 10 times more your money, you will have 54 ringgit and 70 cents. Do you understand? Over here, you have 3 ringgit 75 cents. Make it 754 cents. Times 100. So, move your decimals two places to the right. You're going to get 375.4. 374 ringgit and 75 ringgit and 40 cents. Do you understand now? Move the decimal. If it's times, move it to the right. Mix the number bigger. If you move it to the left, the number will become smaller. So that's where you get your questions from section B. Divide by 10, divide by 100. Section C is, you have just, okay, D is also the same. C, pay attention. You have got to circle the correct amount. Is it 10 or 100 times? Is it bigger or smaller? 2.73, this is 27.3. Look at this first number and the last number. Is 2.73 10 times or 100 times? Is it bigger or smaller? Do you understand? So it's definitely it's smaller. Correct or not? It's 2.73 is smaller than 27.3. How many times smaller? Look at the decimal. How many times did it move? One time only. So it's 10. So now you circle 10 and you circle smaller. That's how you do this. Do you understand? Yes. This really tests whether you understand your what is happening or not. Bigger, smaller, 10 times. No, not yet. Hold on. 
Okay, the last part here, not the last part, yeah. third page. I've got to finish up these five pages, guys. Then you can go on and complete the module. Teacher, here, you have got to multiply. Yeah? Can you send the second quiz in the group so we, I can do again? Second quiz. It's already sent. What? You mean the word wall quiz? Yeah. Yeah, it's there in the group. Oh. In the WhatsApp group. It is already. Okay, guys. Third page here. Pay attention. It's no more plus. It's no more minus. It's times. So, see very carefully. It's just the normal number times the normal number. But your answer is 25. However, there is one decimal place. There's one decimal place. So, you move two decimal places. Do you understand? Now, this one is 3 times 5. 3 times 5's answer is 15. Correct or not? But you have got one decimal place in the question. No decimal place here. So you must put one decimal place in your answer. So your answer is 1.5. In your module, when you get it, you must put the point. Do you understand? Look here again. 5 times 3. Answer is 15. But I must use, I must move two decimal place from the 15. Thus, my answer would be 0 0.15. Okay, I tell you what. You continue your module 1 and your module 2 up to second page. We will do this next week. I cannot push everything on one day. Okay? We will do this next week. Are you ready? Do you understand? Okay, we can stop up to here. Make sure you complete the module up to page 2. This is page 3 and we will do this next week. Got it? Okay, enough lah. I think today you're already brain jam already then. Can or not? This is multiplication of decimal and division of decimals. That's it. Okay? All right. With that, I think you guys can have a good day. Have a good Saturday. Yes, you may go. All right. Take care. Bye. Bye. See you all. Bye-bye.